All right, so this is Solid State Logic's G3 Multibus Comp. It's a multiband compressor. We got a low band, a mid band, and a high band. We can turn the whole thing off or on, and we can turn the separate bands on or off. We can select a frequency range for each band. We got a mix button here. We can turn to HQ to get higher quality here. I will do this. Um, yeah, we can uh, listen to each band. We also can change the mix radio for each band separately. It's great. Okay, let's um, hear it in action. So it displays um, each band. That's great. We can select ratio. Let's start with the low band for to run ratio. Turn the threshold down. Okay. I would say let's do some parallel compression here on the drum track. Ah, uh, 50% will be okay. Okay, that's another way to change the ratio. Mm -hmm. Great. We can link the bands. Okay, we can link them all, so it will turn to a normal compressor. Let's delink it. Let's listen to a single band. Well, okay, fast release, slow attack. Great, next band. Let's turn the release to automatic. Um, maybe I will turn the ratio up a bit. It's a great way to change the threshold. High band. What can we do here? A few bands. Okay, we got a sidechain here. That's great. Low, we can check. Yes, okay. Let's play the drums again. Yeah, you can um, change um, on which frequencies the compressor will react. I think we can turn, yes, we can turn the frequency up. We can change the Q factor. Doesn't matter. Great. The mid band must not react to the sub frequencies. to the mids. That one is deactivated. Yes, we can pre-listen this section too. It's very good. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can find a preset for the drums. Maybe something punchy drums. Yeah, okay, let's click this. Mm, switch back to bands view. Now we have to set the threshold. We can do this uh, on the graphical interface or here. I think it's better to do it than up, uh, down there. That's great. So we can see what we're doing. Okay, so I just switched over to the vocals. Um, let's see how it works here. What will I feel when the dark noise is rising? How many it's interesting. Um, it doesn't show anything at the low band. But if I turn the mid band um, to the lows, um, it shows the frequency. Okay, great. I don't know why it does this. Maybe I will find it out. But at first, I would say I will link the two bands. Who will I be we have a drive section here. We can add a uh, typical SSL drive here. I think um, from the 4K series. 
What will I feel when the dark noise is right? Okay, ratio, uh, text three. How many dreams ratio four, release point one. Sing Too much so compression. Takes a whole of me. Four decibel will be enough, I think. What will I feel when the dark noise is rising? What will Maybe I another value for the high band just to test it? Takes a whole and maybe some kind of de-assing. Um, we can view the sidechain and use our bell filter to search the sibyl and frequency. Who will I be? What will I believe when the nothingness around takes a hold? What will I feel when the Okay, I just turn it up at around um, 6 to 10 dB. Dreams will be lost in the silence. And no. Who will I be? What happens if I change back to the pants? When the Nothing. Okay. Um, I think now we can use it a bit as a DSR. We have to turn the attack really what fast. Will I feel when the dark noise is rising. Release. How many dreams also will be relatively fast. In the silence. Okay, you can hear it. It, it de-esses a bit. Who will I be? What will I believe? When the nothingness around takes a... Um, it reacts to the sibilance. That's great. Who will I be? What will I believe when the nothingness around takes a hold of me? What will I feel when the dark noise is rising? How many dreams will be lost in the silence? Okay, let's see um, if we get a preset for the vocals. Yes, we get one. Vocal control. Check it out. What will I feel when the dark noise is rising? How many dreams will be lost in the silence? Who will I be? What will I believe when the nothing It's is similar so to what I did. The high frequency reacts to the to the civilian. So this is a great way what to control I the vocals. So now I switch to the bass guitar. Let's make it a bit louder. What can we do with this icon? Oh, we can... Okay, that's great. We can change the scale. That's great, SSL. We can um, change from 50% to 200%. Well done. Was about time. Okay, so the last thing I will do is to try it on the mix bus. Um, I will just check for a preset. Maybe pop. Okay, that's a clear difference. It's much more clued together. I like this. Let's tweak it a bit. Here you can hear the drive much better than before on the bass guitar. I never crawl, never fall. Okay, now you can hear what it does. It's red and uh, it's distorting. I wouldn't do it this much. Oops, sorry, I turned it off. Um, yeah, maybe the mix down for the high band. Okay, yeah, the, the, the drums are a bit loud in this case. I never crawl, never fall, so um, it does a good job here to tame them. When the 
Yeah, we can also um, use an external sidechain um, for sidechain ducking, for example. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, if you liked it, um, maybe you want to give me a thumbs up, that would be really great. And if you want, just um, subscribe to my channel, and that would also be great. So maybe we will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. I never crawl, never fall, never running away When the nothingness around takes a hold on me Never break, never hate, never leave